Moving on to other stories now, the pandemic has made us even more reliant on smartphones and other digital devices. But soon, rather than talking to friends and families through video calls, we could be meeting them virtually as holograms. Chang Tian gets us better acquainted with the next generation internet connectivity, 6G. 6G networks could be up to 50 times faster than 5G. They also have just one tenth of 5G's latency, which is the time taken between a user's action and the end result. So, in other words, far more data can be stored and transmitted at a faster speed, making the word hyperconnected. Basically, hyperconnectivity is about a connection from person to person, then person to object, and object to object. And they are connected by a fast speed and high accuracy. There are six main areas where 6G can be used. For example, people in Korea, France, and India can wear smart glasses connected to the 6G network and can meet each other as three-dimensional figures, holograms. 6G can also be used at smart factories where all the work is done by AI robots. It also allows autonomous driving of cars and even drone taxis. Thanks to the reduced latency, shortening any delay between action and result, and the projection of a clear 3D image, 6G can help doctors perform remote surgery. It'll also be used in eco-friendly smart cities and to improve security technology. South Korea has decided to invest around 194 million US dollars on development of a 6G network by 2025. Also, Korea and the U.S. have agreed to work on joint research and development of emerging technologies like 6G, following the commitment made at the Seoul-Washington summit in May. Standardization is important in communications technology, because merely being good at development doesn't mean it will be successful. For instance, Japan developed its own technology, third-generation mobile communication. There was no technical problem, but it's useless if other countries don't use the technology. In the 6G era, objects will have perfect intelligence, meaning that objects around us will help out so that we can get a convenient service. The mobile communication eras are often classified by generation, and we see them as a 10-year term. So we expect the sixth generation of mobile communication to come by 2030. It sounds like the distant future. But when we think of our smartphones, we never imagined we'd be so obsessed with them. So, who knows what's gonna happen next? Chang Taehyun, Arirang News, Daejeon.